You know, they say that it's better to light a single candle than to curse the darkness. And as we head towards winter, I'm feeling the urge to get this robot in the water. Uh, what you see here is the subframe. It assembles very quickly. We are building the first West Coast prototype to be launched uh, in one of a number of potential areas around here, experiencing a harmful algae bloom. Now, the, the idea behind this is that it's something that's small scale enough that an individual that can burn. own and operate one of these, remediating their environment while paying for itself. How does it do that? Well, by producing a small supply of paraffin wax. Same kind of thing that you use in candles. This is all off the shelf components. Most of this stuff I bought at Home Depot. It's a tensegrity structure. Here's our mast, which will float in tension between the base and these turnbuckles. So in just a matter of seconds, this can be pulled off of a truck and assembled. The idea of a decentralized energy revolution is that people will no longer be reliant on whether it's big oil or big grid. The problem with the grid is that even if you're using renewables as the energy source, there's a mismatch between when the energy is produced and when people want to use it. So the sun's shining during the day, but a lot of the in-home generation needs to happen at night. Algae acts as the intermediate. All right, now, you see it's a very strong structure, despite the relatively light weight. This, once it mounts on top of the PVC panels, will provide a frame for our solar panel and a mast which will hold the wind turbine on top. These bilge pumps act as dual thrusters and they also aerate the water column. Part of the reason that we have these fish die-offs and harmful algae blooms is that there's not enough oxygen in the water, too much carbon dioxide. When that gets thrown out of balance, it creates the perfect opportunity for an algae bloom. It's not actually just an algae bloom. It's actually an algae azola duckweed bloom. And this trifecta of aquatic plants uh, grows in symbiosis and is able to uh, channel carbon dioxide down into the water column where algae below the surface can also feed off of it and they grow in this uncontrolled fashion. So what we're doing with this robot is we're passing it through a little tiny nozzle. Now, you won't be able to see because the hole is so small, but this rod made of Inconel, it's a special cavitation resistant metal that will not corrode even when the water is passed through it at such speeds that bubbles open up, little vacuum bubbles, inside which the temperature is 4,000 degrees, similar to what you have on the surface of the sun. When those bubbles collapse, they convert just a small fraction of the algae that's passing through in the water into a biofuel. That paraffin floats to the top within the separation column and can be skimmed off, and there's your candle. Right now, we're, we're uh, still working on the West Coast prototype, and we're gonna have a set of plans for the do-it-yourselfer. See you on the high seas!